G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode. The weather's too good to not put the boat in, so that's what we are doing today. She is just past dead low, put the boat in at Seaforth here, Victor Creek boat ramp. Look at that bloody sunrise in the background, jeez. Wind's not supposed to pick up today. We've got a little bit of swell and wind coming in. Oh, a little bit of swell and wind coming in around lunchtime. But... <laughs> Righto, so today's episode, pretty much, we're going to catch dinner. That's what we're going to try and do every time we put the boat in to make it worthwhile owning the boat is to catch some sort of dinner. Alright? So it's just me today solo. I'm heading to my spot, which is Nuri Island. Now, so I guess why, I'll, I'll just have a quick touch on why I like fishing Nuri. One, I've been fishing it for a very long time, so I kind of know the area. Um, I've been shown a lot of spots around this area, so I kind of <laughs> can try and at least catch some dinner. Um, two, I've only got a 3.7 meter tinny, so I don't really want to push it too far. And I guess this is a good combination for me with a little tinny in the way of getting some sort of reef fish and dinner islands and creek fishing all in one day so why not every man and his dog knows about this spot so so again today we're just going to cruise this is low tide Victor Creek boat ramp I've actually been stuck once here before um, I, <laughs> myself and my mate Rafa who's been in a couple episodes uh, we just finished building this boat replacing the transom and pretty much we ran out of fuel right from the boat ramp over there and we got stuck there for a whole low tide so it's very tidal this this uh creek you don't want to get stuck we spent six hours on the sandbar not a good time but yeah we're just gonna cruise on out gonna i really want to what my ultimate goal with this fishing phase i'm going in i suppose we're gonna call it and um I just want to catch fish that, one, I want to catch dinner. I want to learn just to catch dinner and that's it. So I can not, every time I come out, I just learn and guarantee that I can catch something for dinner. So number two is I've always wanted to try and catch certain species. So like I really want to catch a mackerel on the trawl. So we're going to do a bit of trawling today. We're going to have a little go at that. And look, it's rare. But there are coral trout around here, so to catch a coral trout around here wouldn't be too bad, It'd be a good lunch too. So I guess this is a little bit of a series on the Nuri Islands and fishing, camping around this area. Let's get into it. Holy! God. Now I don't know if you can see it or not. Right there. I'll turn the motor off to maybe. Now literally there's some whales right here.
All right, so <laughs> I wasted a little bit of time trying to film these. Uh, well, I'm not gonna say wasted because it was nuts how close these whales were to the boat. And with the GoPro, there's no zoom. So it's one of those things where I just put the drone up. I didn't want to get too close, but that was so rad. That's the raddest thing <laughs> that's happened to me today. I haven't caught a fish, but we were really early on the tide, guys. We were, we were super early on the tide. So I'm hoping now, I guess we've wasted a little bit of time and I'm just want to check the time actually. 8.10, oh, we've got ages. We've still got another probably two hours before, two and a bit hours before high tide. So we might as well try and settle in somewhere. And I want to try and, and I want to try and settle in on a place where Nabo and I went to last time. So I'm going to try and set up there. I've got two bags of bait here. I need to go through them. And I really just want to catch dinner. That's it. Just a nice sweet lip, um, a nice bluey, anything really, anything that I can put on a plate and feed the family. That's that's exactly what I want to do. So, but <laughs> look how beautiful this day. Is. Look at this. Tell you what, there's not many other places I'd rather be right now. Look at it. Holy, gotta love days like this, eh? And that's why I, oh, I fish this area at Nuri in Seaforth because even though I've got a little tinny, I can still reach some cool spots and fish some good ground and actually catch something for dinner. And so I guess from here on out, plan after we've wasted a bit of time getting onto these whales here, set in, find a spot, Let's get some dinner. I'm onto it. Let's go. Just to prove to you that I am actually catching fish, but they're just, they're just not big enough. They're just not big enough. Oh, man, I've just had so many times where these whales just come up in, and right near the boat and you just get shit scared. They're just right in front of me. Didn't even see them. There they are. Holy jeez. Trying to fish. There's whales going. Look at them. Did you hear this big blow off stuff? Hear them blow the water hole out. <laughs> it just scares the shit out of you. Righto, I'm gonna get rid of this fish. So we are not having much luck today. But the fact that it's like the first time I've ever seen whales in my tinny or any boat like this. It's pretty insane how close they were. Um, I really, I'm still, I've still got a bit of time left. I'm not giving up. We've still got time left. I think it just might be time from this spot and this area that I'm in. Might be a bit of, uh, good for a bit of spot change. I'm going to park up next to Nuri there. And I've got a little hole there. Hopefully we can fish um, while the tide's still coming in. So I think today we're going to call this spot uh, quits. I'm going to try a different spot. Right, we are down to our last prawny prawn. 
and I might have a quick couple of casts. But last prawny prawn, let's see how we go. Right, uh, I'm gonna cut this one out, guys. Just another day out, Lord. You can't be angry with stuff like this, even though we didn't get what we wanted. Actually, we got something better than we expected was whales. That was awesome. Righto, see you in the next episode. Peace.